Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So we're going to continue in this book um, in RJ Hampson's Night Garden and this is where we got to at the end of part one, so mainly to the background. So now um, I'm going to film this in li little bits basically and then sort of edit the video so it's all together for you um, and try to not make it too long. So. I'm going to work on the background of this jar, so I want a sort of a galaxy background, so I'm going to show you what I mean, something like this is what I'm hoping for, so I've got the colours, um, I did get this idea initially from a YouTube channel called Dramatic Parrot and I used it I think on one of my pages last month, so I thought I would use it here as well. So I've got Prisma pencils, so the ones that I am using are um, will be listed below as well. So I have Blush Pink PC928, um, what's this one, Hot Pink PC993, um, PC934 which is lavender, we have process red PC994 um, and Caribbean Caribbean C PC1103 I think it is, um, ultramarine PC902, Dio dioxine purple I'd I think it's yeah dioxine purple hue pc132 and then indigo blue pc901 so those are the pencils they will be listed below so you will be able to see so basically the what i'm going to do is just put a little bit of this um bush pink down not going quite lightly first Um, and then use my hot pink, I think, to go over the edges a little bit, I'll sort of overlap it a little bit. Maybe you should bring it in even closer. There we go, just that bit there. Leave a bit of a space there as well. Go back in with the blush pink to darken it up a little bit. And then maybe a little bit of this process red. I think I'll need a white as well actually, but um, we'll see. And now I'm just going to go over with a blue. This is the piece, this is the um, Caribbean Sea. Might even actually go in with the dioxine purple hue actually it's darker I think it'll blend better with the pinks back in with the Caribbean Sea Yeah, I think we will need a Prisma White, so I forgot that. Um, and then, what have I got? Indigo Blue. And of course you will need black as well. So 
so yeah I'm just gonna get my black I can't believe that I've actually forgot to take my uh, Prisma black out um, so I'm gonna have to get that in a moment um, yeah just pause the video and grab that okay so got my black and I'm just gonna sort of randomly fade that into the um, colours I've already got there I think I need to actually um, make up some of my actually get some more prismas some of my pencils need replacing let's go for the indigo blue here it's not looking too good at the moment I admit but um Hopefully it will take form. So back in with the dioxine purple hue. Now I'm going to get the white. And just go over all of this in the middle sort of smoosh it together so um, yeah that's basically all it is really that's that's um, how I'm intending to do it so just put in a little bit of colour and I'm going to put a, do the same thing here the rest of it I'll probably just do in sort of dark purple black around it so this time let's go with a um, just the blue honestly I'm learning so like I'm learning I, I, I'm no expert at this at all and to be honest I'm I don't even think I'm doing it particularly well which I don't think, honestly speaking, I, it's not great. <laughs> I am rushing a little bit. This is the indigo blue now. Now, really, we want it to be a little bit lighter round the insect part here, the light. So yeah, we'll do that and um, there. It doesn't have to be light I guess all over does it? So it'll do. Right, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is just Take my black and pretty much fill in the area around it. Maybe use some lighter colours near the where the where the um, light of the insect is. So. Um, bit of blue or whatever maybe even a little bit of this lilac I'm still with that dioxine purple hue colour and then let's add a bit of this dark blue there this is the indigo blue and maybe 
maybe the black just at the edges here. So yeah, I'm going to continue to just probably put my black in here and then lighter colours towards the, you know, the lit bit of the insect, towards its glowing bit, should I say. Add a bit more of that dioxine purple here. this black. So yeah I'm going to continue just doing that um, and um, I'll be back when it's complete just so you've sort of seen how how I'm, I'm doing it. I mean closer to it what I'll do is like I said I'm using a bit of this purple here the dioxine purple hue and then I'm going to use a lighter colour possibly the even the ultramarine there and maybe even the Caribbean Sea just so it's a little bit lighter closer to the um, glowing part of the uh, insect so I'll continue that and I'll come back when it's completed okay I'm back to show you um, what it looks like so there we go um, I think this is the technique that I used, um, if you watch my videos you'll know, in my um, April, no not April sorry, March completed pages, um, it was the the shoe that I did, the shoe in the um, Lulu Mayo's newest, latest book, i trying to find it now on my bookshelf. Um, Let me see if I can find it and I can show you. Okay, I've got the book to show you basically. I should have shown you this first to be honest. So that you understood what I was trying to achieve. So there you go. That's the... Um, it's obviously done better there. Um, I took more time and care over it. Um, I'm not feeling so great at the moment and I just want to get this started really. So um, I do apologise for, for rushing a little bit but you get the general gist of it and you see the colours that I've used in the prismas so now what I want to do is just add some stars in places as well so I've got a jelly roll 10 and a jelly roll 05 so I'm just going to put some stars in Um, let's use a smaller one for sort of stuff. Maybe even a shooting star there. Right, I think that's enough stars, definitely. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. And there it is. So um, I'm fairly happy with that. It's not, I mean, it could be better, but it, it's all right. So that's um, basically the background of the jar um, done. Okay, so what we're going to work on now is um, the fireflies. And I'm only going to do a couple on camera again just to save time um, I'm going to do a couple on camera and then I think I'll do the rest off camera and then um, I think we'll
go to probably a part three. Um, so basically, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the wings first. So I've got some Holbein pastel shaded pencils. So I have cream, which is OP127, um, and then Cosmos OP437, and then I have. Um, Rose Pink OP429 and Lilac OP422 and then Smalt Blue which is OP339. Now you can use similar shades to the ones here. I think there are some shades like that in some other sets. So um, I'm going to start with this insect here. I mean I could just, I could do one I guess rather than two so then I could do this close up can't I so I'm going to put this on um, the edges of the wings like this I've used this technique many times um, before so I'm fading it inwards now I also need a white which I have forgotten about it's always something I forget about I will have to go and get a white in a second just so that um, just so that I can blend the colours basically. Um, I haven't done the other side but it's fine. So this is the lilac. And I'm just going on the edges of the wings really. Um, and then what I'm going to do, um, I might use the Chinese white, if I've got it, yeah, I think I've got the Chinese, Derwent drawing pencil, Chinese white, but any soft white pencil will do, like the Prisma white, anything like that really, and then I'm just going to smoosh that in, the colours like that because we're going to put something else on top so um, it doesn't really uh, matter too much so yeah I'll only do one on camera guys all doing are you doing okay and I'm asking you 15 minutes in <laughs> I was highly concentrating when I was doing the um, the galaxy in the jar earlier coloring because I film in my um, lounge or sitting room basically um, while there's nobody here you get the opportunity to film so I'm trying to you know it's the weekend and I just want to get this done before um, Bobby comes home so there we go now what I'm going to do next is um, just looking at my notes so over the top I'm going to put this opal blaze pink blueberry it looks like this and all I'm going to do is get a not not particularly expensive brush or anything just some cheap fine brush which I use for these purposes so this is what it looks like inside so it's called the cosmic shimmer opal blaze polish and it's the pink blueberry so all I'm going to do is take a little bit of that on the brush and place it the brush is quite fine so place it onto the wings on the top like that so you can still because it's translucent you can see all the colours underneath but um, yeah I think 
that looks okay, really. Maybe I need a bigger brush. This is a 5-0, so it's a little bit small. But yeah, uh, you can see the um, pencil colours underneath. So that's what I wanted, really. I mean, it's just some sort of medium where I could see the pencil colours underneath. Okay, so that's that. Almost. Just a bit more there. There we go. Right, I hope. I think that's okay. I'm just going to get some water so I can wipe, sort of clean my brush off. Fluffy as well, so wipe that off as well. Now that's it. Okay, so that's that. Next thing is um, I want to use on the body and the so the thorax and the abdomen abdomen of the insect. I want to use some Calero paints. So the Calero paints I'm going to use are. Phoenix, so that's, uh, let me show you that one, this one here. So I'm going to just activate that, well, when I say activate, I'm just going to put some, a drop of water on it so that it can sit for a little bit. Put my opal blaze, blaze polish away now. And then the other, so I'm going to put the Phoenix paint on the head and then on the body I want to put this cinnamon so I'm just going to put a little bit of I really like this colour the cinnamon it's newer colour it's absolutely gorgeous so I'm just going to let this dry for a, for a moment and then I'll be back um, once the paints are nice and dissolved I just thought while we're waiting the other thing I was going to do is you know the lip bit here of the um, the firefly I want to use a bit of dragonfly glaze because I'm not particularly happy with how it is at the moment um, so I'm going to take a little bit of dragonfly glaze put it on this little palette here and then you'll see what I do nothing majorly exciting but anyway there it is there's my dragonfly glaze and I want it to just have a little bit of a um, a bluish tinge a lovely um, viewer subscriber um, gave the idea of having a bluish I think they gave the idea of having a bluish tinge for the fireflies um, and I really liked that idea, but I'd already done this, so I was like, you know, how am I going to get this done? So just on this inner circle, this bit here, I'm just going to put my dragonfly glaze. Now, I've used so many mediums on this page already, but it's all fun, isn't it? So doesn't matter really as long as it comes out nice I was a bit, a bit disappointed if it doesn't um, but yeah so yeah I've got put a bit of that on you can see that it's uh, I don't know if you can see it but yeah it is shimmering a little bit and it's got that little bit of a blue iridescence so yep, yeah, that's that. And then the other thing I was going to do while the paints are dissolving is um, just looking at my notes. I've got another opal blaze polish, po porridge, porridge. No, not porridge. Polish. A gilded avocado opal blaze polish, and I'm going to put that on the edges here of the well near the stickles, basically where I've put the stickles. So, I mean, I've really blinged it up, so on the edge, on the right on the edge, just to give it like a, a bit of a, I've got no space here, no space whatsoever. Right, let me get that there, okay, like that, 
Okay, so I'm going to get a bit of this gilded avocado and I'm just going to put it on this edge here like this and just tap it on just to give it a little bit of a fuzzy look because um, because I believe it looks better they should have a little bit of a fuzzy look um, this could turn out really bad but if it turns out really bad on camera at least you know that look um, these things happen and uh, you know I'll be sad for a little bit but then it's not going to stop me from colouring and practising things which is how it should be Gee, that looks okay doesn't it doesn't look too bad at the moment so that's that I think that looks quite good actually so um, right that's that okay so there is going to be a part three to this um, because I'll have more to show you but anyway that's basically giving it a little bit of a fuzzy look um, and now I am going to use my look, use my watercolour Clearo paint so I'm going to use the phoenix on the head of the insect so it's, it's nice and thickened up now which is just how I like it got to have a bit of metallic paint most definitely so there we go that's the um, thought if I get to show you one at least I can get the rest done in the similar way and then my cinnamon which is going to be the body of the insect There we go, right, that's such a beautiful colour, that's probably one of my favourite Clearo um, paint colours, and that's it. Okay, so, that's basically part two, and like I said, I didn't want it too long. Um, but you can see now how I'm going to do all the rest of the fireflies I've given it a little bit of a fuzzy edge as well as so I'm happy with it than uh, previously I think uh, I think that looks quite nice um, it's very bright at the moment but um, yeah I like it I like it I think I think it's coming together so um, next time you see this I will come back with part three and um, all the fireflies will be done hopefully and then I'm going to work on um, it this is not a full full colour on because it is really stressful for me to film colour alongs um, but I'm gonna do the majority of this like I said as a colour along so I will do the this sort of smoky thing coming out of the jar I'll do that on camera that's going to be mainly pencil with maybe some sort of medium on top to make it sparkly um, and then probably do the moon and the stars which will probably be metallic paint and then that's it and then we'll probably leave it there um, after that so I hope you enjoyed this um, I'm such a I'm such a novice um, I'm the opposite of a professional but if it's been helpful in the slightest then you know I'm, I'm happy I guess so thanks for watching thanks for all your support until next time take care bye